So welcome to another JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at what we looked at in the previous tutorial except we're going to be using multiple values in our variable. So in the previous tutorial we were looking at creating a function and passing a variable through the function. So we could uh, start, we could um, call the function here and we can assign a variable inside this function which will be atta uh, attached along basically with this. So the, the variable will be sent to here and we could grab it here as name and then we were able to echo this out. So what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be using more than one variable. See, for in this example, you might have first name, second name, age. You, you can have loads of information. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this new function. So we're going to do function and then add. We're going to be adding two numbers together or maybe more. Add and then brackets. So we, uh, we're doing curly brackets. And then inside this add, we're going to do first, and then comma, second. And what this comma is going to do, is going to allow us to have more than one variable. So we can go first, second, third. It can go on, like, on a, it can go on forever like that. There probably is a limit, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing it like that. Now what we want to do, is we're going to do uh, var total is equal to first plus second. Now you should be aware of what this code means, it's basically we're creating a variable here called total and this total is going to have the the value of first plus second, so we're going to add these together and that is going to be the value of total. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run the function, add, I'm going to put our brackets and then here what we're going to do is 10, comma and 100. So if we save this and run it in Chrome, nothing has happened. Here's why. We haven't actually uh, displayed this out on the screen yet. So to do that, what we need to do is we're going to use something called a return statement. And what a return statement does, we haven't actually looked at it, but I'll show you this tutorial. It basically allows us to treat this function now like a variable. So now that the function's finished, we can treat it like a variable and it will hold a value. So we can return and then total. So what is going to happen is this function, so add, is now equal to total. So if we run this now, and launch it in Chrome, still nothing's happened. Why is that? We still need to actually echo it on the screen. So to do this, not echo it, that's PHP, we need to actually alert it on the screen. So what we're gonna do is alert, and then put brackets around this, just like that. So you got alert, and then inside those brackets, you got the add, you got your fun whole function here with the values and then of course the semicolon at the end. So now let's try this. Launch it in Chrome and you see the value is 110. So let's just go back through the code. So we are create, creating a function here called add. Uh, it's got first and second so it's got two variables in it. It's going to take two values and then we're adding them together and putting them in this var total and then we are returning that so basically making this function equal to the total so in this case it's going to be 110 and then we're going to alert it and run the function and the value that the function returns is going to be put inside this alert so that might be a bit confusing but you should understand it hopefully so yeah um, what we're going to be doing now is going to make a little project that is going to find the, uh, the area of a rectangle now the area is literally the height times the width so it'd be quite simple so what we're going to do is we're going to create a function here called area and in brackets, we're going to take height and width. Quite simply like that. And then here, what we're going to do is going to do area equals and then height times width. Simple, simple like that. Uh, nothing too complicated. We're just going to be doing the area, the height times the width, and that's going to be equal to the area. So now what we want to do is return this value and we're going to return area. So now down here we can do alert and the area is and then and we're going to do area. Save that. Okay, we made a bit of a stupid mistake here. Uh, we actually forgot to put the uh, two brackets on here and that is why it was actually looking for the actual area uh, as a variable and not the function. So it was looking for this here and not this. 
So it was telling us that area is actually equal to height times width, but why do we care about that? We want to know what the actual area is, not how to work it out, and not what the code is. So let's launch this in Chrome, and you see the area is not a number. And that is because we need to put two values in here. So let's put 100 for the height, and 50 for the width. See, these are common errors. Uh, it's good to know how to deal with errors. Uh, so yeah. So you see the area is 5,000, which 100 times 50 is 1,000. You can check if you want on the calculator. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much how to do multiple values in a function. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it, found it useful. If you did, uh, please subscribe. That will really help me out. And uh, follow me on Twitter. Everything's in the description. Uh, so yeah, thank, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.